Hi everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Here's your political news roundup for Thursday, November 10th. Texas Governor Rick Perry is in damage control mode today. He's downplaying a moment in last night's candidate debate where he proposed elimination of three federal agencies, then was unable to remember what the third of the three was, leading to an awkward pause of nearly a minute. Perry acknowledges his goof, says it proves he's human, and says it won't kill his campaign for president. Republican political insiders say, however, the gap could paint Perry as unable to think quickly under pressure and could label him as non-presidential. The behind-the-scenes horse trading is picking up for the Congressional Super Committee. There's word today that Democrats on the committee have secretly developed and presented a $2 trillion deficit reduction plan to Republicans. It proposes $1 trillion in spending cuts and $1 trillion in higher tax revenues. That's down from the $1.3 trillion in tax increases previously proposed. This compromise gesture comes as Republicans hinted for the first time that they would be open to increasing tax revenues. The committee has until November 23rd to come up with $1.3 trillion in savings or automatic cuts will take place. Overseas, former European Central Bank Vice President Lucas Papadimos is in as the new Prime Minister of Greece. He officially took the job on Thursday. His goal is to lead a coalition government through a series of tough austerity measures and qualify for a debt bailout from the Eurozone. Papadimos replaces George Papandreou, who stepped aside as part of the budget deal. Also in Europe, Mario Monti appears poised to be the new Prime Minister of Italy. The incumbent, Silvio Berlusconi, has said he will step down as soon as Parliament passes its austerity measures. Monti is a former European commissioner. Berlusconi is expected to leave office on Monday. That's your political roundup for Thursday, November 10th. I'm Leon thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to RTTNews.com for more on these and other political and financial news stories throughout the day.